Preliminary English Test Listening There are four parts to the test. You will hear each part twice. We will now stop for a moment. Please ask any questions now because you must not speak during the test. Now look at the instructions for part one. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at question one. One. What time is the man's appointment? Hello. I was wondering if I could get my hair cut sometime today. Certainly, sir. Let me have a look. Mm, I'm afraid we're quite busy today. We don't have anything this morning. Our hairdressers are all booked until 12.30. What about this afternoon? We have an empty hour at 1.30 and another at 3.30? Uh, 3.30 then. 1.30 would be great, but I don't think I can get into town by then. OK. We'll see you later today then. Now listen again. Hello. I was wondering if I could get my hair cut sometime today. Certainly, sir. Let me have a look. Mm, I'm afraid we're quite busy today. We don't have anything this morning. Our hairdressers are all booked until 12.30. What about this afternoon? We have an empty hour at 1.30 and another at 3.30? Uh, 3.30 then. 1.30 would be great, but I don't think I can get into town by then. OK. We'll see you later today then. 2. Why is the woman going to be late for work? Hiya, I'm just calling to say I might be a little late this morning. I collected the car from the garage earlier and was hoping to get in on time, but I've just had a message to say my son's motorbike has been stolen. I've got to drive back and wait for the police to come round. Uh, could someone meet my visitor at the station for me? He's arriving on the nine o'clock train and I don't want him to think we've forgotten about him. Now listen again. Hiya, I'm just calling to say I might be a little late this morning. I collected the car from the garage earlier and was hoping to get in on time, but I've just had a message to say my son's motorbike has been stolen. I've got to drive back and wait for the police to come round. Uh, could someone meet my visitor at the station for me? He's arriving on the nine o'clock train and I don't want him to think we've forgotten about him. 3. Which sport was the man unable to watch on TV? Did you enjoy the match on Saturday? Yes, it was a great game and we won, which made it worth standing out in the rain all afternoon. I could have watched it on TV, but I fancied going to the game. And what about the basketball? I know, I was hoping to see that on TV when I got home, but the kids were watching a film. I did get to see the swimming later in the evening, though, after the children had gone to bed. Now listen again. Did you enjoy the match on Saturday? Yes, it was a great game, and we won, which made it worth standing out in the rain all afternoon. I could have watched it on TV, but I fancied going to the game. And what about the basketball? I know, I was hoping to see that on TV when I got home, but the kids were watching a film. I did get to see the swimming later in the evening, though, after the children had gone to bed. 4. Where are floods expected to cause problems? If you're thinking of travelling over the next 24 hours, you may need to pay attention to the weather. The heavy rain we've had over the past two days has meant there are likely to be floods, which will cause problems for travellers. Police have informed us they aren't expecting problems on the motorways at the moment, but trains may be affected if water levels continue to rise. We've had no reports of flights being cancelled at the airports 
but please keep listening in case we have any updates. Now listen again. If you're thinking of traveling over the next 24 hours, you may need to pay attention to the weather. The heavy rain we've had over the past two days has meant there are likely to be floods, which will cause problems for travelers. Police have informed us they aren't expecting problems on the motorways at the moment, but trains may be affected if water levels continue to rise. We've had no reports of flights being canceled at the airports, but please keep listening in case we have any updates. 5. How many people are going to the party so far? So we need to decide on food for the party. Any ideas? Yes, I know. I was going to order something this afternoon. I've got the numbers of about seven different companies. I'll call them all and try to get the best price. But I need to know how many people are coming. I've invited about 30 people, but I've only heard back from about 18 of them. I'm not sure about the others. Maybe we should wait a few more days before organising the food. Now listen again. So we need to decide on food for the party. Any ideas? Yes, I know. I was going to order something this afternoon. I've got the numbers of about seven different companies. I'll call them all and try to get the best price. But I need to know how many people are coming. I've invited about 30 people, but I've only heard back from about 18 of them. I'm not sure about the others. Maybe we should wait a few more days before organising the food. 6. What does the woman finally buy to drink? Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I just ordered this coffee, but I'm afraid it's almost cold. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another one. Thanks, but the coffee looks a bit too strong for me. Is there any chance of having tea instead? No problem. Anything else, madam? Would you like a glass of water to go with the hot drink? That's okay, thanks. I had one with the coffee. Now listen again. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Yes, I just ordered this coffee, but I'm afraid it's almost cold. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Let me get you another one. Thanks, but the coffee looks a bit too strong for me. Is there any chance of having tea instead? No problem. Anything else, madam? Would you like a glass of water to go with the hot drink? That's okay, thanks. I had one with the coffee. 7. When does the caller want to move into the flat? Hello, I'm just phoning about the flat I went to look at yesterday. I really like it and I'm planning to come in today to ask a few questions before I sign the contract. Your colleague told me it was possible to move into the flat from the 11th of August. However, I'm away on business until the 18th of August, so wouldn't be able to move in that early. Is it possible to wait until the 1st of September and start paying rent from then? Now listen again. Hello, I'm just phoning about flat I went to look at yesterday. I really like it and I'm planning to come in today to ask a few questions before I sign the contract. Your colleague told me it was possible to move into the flat from the 11th of August. However, I'm away on business until the 18th of August, so wouldn't be able to move in that early. Is it possible to wait until the 1st of September and start paying rent from then? That is the end of part one. Now look at part two. For each question, choose the correct answer. Eight. You will hear a man talking to his wife about a podcast. I downloaded a really interesting podcast yesterday about history. Really? 
Do you think Jennifer would find it useful for her exams? I'm not sure it covers the subject she's studying, but the presenter is that guy on TV she loves, so that might interest her. Does it cost anything? You can download the podcast for nothing. There's a course he offers that you need to pay for, but she might not want that if the topic is different. Let's see what she thinks of the podcast first. Now listen again. I downloaded a really interesting podcast yesterday about history. Really? Do you think Jennifer would find it useful for her exams? I'm not sure it covers the subject she's studying, but the presenter is that guy on TV she loves, so that might interest her. Does it cost anything? You can download the podcast for nothing. There's a course he offers that you need to pay for, but she might not want that if the topic is different. Let's see what she thinks of the podcast first. 9. You will hear two friends talking about a new mobile phone. So, are you enjoying your new phone? It certainly looks fantastic. Eh, it's okay. It's certainly cost enough. I'm not sure it's a big improvement on the previous one, to be honest. Why did you get a new one, then? Well, I was getting these emails encouraging me to get the latest model. The other one had a little bit of damage to the screen, which didn't look very nice. But it worked, and I could do all the things I needed to do with it. Oh, oh well, never mind. Now listen again. So, are you enjoying your new phone? It certainly looks fantastic. Eh, it's okay. It certainly cost enough. I'm not sure it's a big improvement on the previous one, to be honest. Why did you get a new one, then? Well, I was getting these emails encouraging me to get the latest model. The other one had a little bit of damage to the screen, which didn't look very nice. But it worked, and I could do all the things I needed to do with it. Oh, oh well, never mind. 10. You will hear a woman talking to her husband about washing clothes. There's something wrong with the washing machine. It seems to go on forever. Oh, not again. We've had problems with it ever since we bought it. So, what should we do? We need to do the washing. Shall we get someone to have a look at it? I don't think it's worth it. We've had people out before, and they're never cheap. I know we only bought it a couple of years ago, but maybe it's time to think about getting a new one. Shall we have a look online? Now listen again. There's something wrong with the washing machine. It seems to go on forever. Oh, not again. We've had problems with it ever since we bought it. So, what should we do? We need to do the washing. Shall we get someone to have a look at it? I don't think it's worth it. We've had people out before, and they're never cheap. I know we only bought it a couple of years ago, but maybe it's time to think about getting a new one. Shall we have a look online? 11. You will hear two friends talking about living in the countryside. I've been watching that program on TV about moving to the countryside. Oh, that one about people who don't want to live in the city anymore. I like having lots of people around me. Being on my own somewhere in the countryside wouldn't suit me. True, but if you have a car, it doesn't take long to get what you need. That wouldn't bother me. I know people think it's good for your health, but not if you're unhappy living there. Now listen again. I've been watching that program on TV about moving to the countryside. Oh, that one about people who don't want to live in the city anymore. I like having lots of people around me. Being on my own somewhere in the countryside wouldn't suit me. True, but if you have a car, it doesn't take long to get what you need. That wouldn't bother me. I know people think it's good for your health, but not if you're unhappy living there. 12. You will hear two friends talking about travelling by plane. I've been thinking about the number of flights I take a year. 
It's not good for the environment. I know. It's a worry, isn't it? It's more expensive to travel by train than to fly on some short journeys. No wonder people choose to go by plane. I don't think putting the price up would be very popular, do you? I certainly wouldn't like it. I think we should avoid travelling abroad for our holidays. That would probably make a difference. Now listen again. I've been thinking about the number of flights I take a year. It's not good for the environment. I know. It's a worry, isn't it? It's more expensive to travel by train than to fly on some short journeys. No wonder people choose to go by plane. I don't think putting the price up would be very popular, do you? I certainly wouldn't like it. I think we should avoid travelling abroad for our holidays. That would probably make a difference. 13. You will hear two friends talking about a local businesswoman. I was reading about Emily Wainwright, the local businesswoman of the year. Hmm, she sounds like an interesting person, doesn't she? That new shop she has in town is doing really well. It's always busy when I go past. She seems to be popular with other business people too. I know. Her new business partner was on the radio the other day. He was explaining that she always recommends other local companies to customers and helps other women who are thinking of starting their own business. Now listen again. I was reading about Emily Wainwright, the local businesswoman of the year. Hmm, she sounds like an interesting person, doesn't she? That new shop she has in town is doing really well. It's always busy when I go past. She seems to be popular with other business people too. I know. Her new business partner was on the radio the other day. He was explaining that she always recommends other local companies to customers and helps other women who are thinking of starting their own business. That is the end of part two. Now look at part three. For each question, write the correct answer in the gap. Write one or two words, or a number, or a date, or a time. Look at questions 14 to 19 now. You have 20 seconds. You will hear an announcement in a supermarket. Welcome to Milburn's. If you're looking for a sale or for something unusual, don't forget our Thursday special buy day where you'll find some great offers. These change every week and are removed from the shelves at the end of the day. This Thursday, you'll be able to buy a special gift for your pet with lots of items at low, low prices. Come early and don't miss our offers. Are you interested in a career with Milburns? We're looking for new staff in various areas of the business. There are now opportunities to join our trainee manager program and several jobs for cleaners. We are proud of our staff and like to think they're proud to be part of the Milburn family. Why not speak to our manager today if you're interested in joining us? Or pick up our magazine at the exit for details about how to apply. As the new year approaches, we know you'll need to get your shopping done ready for all the celebrations. We'll be opening until 10.30 on Friday evening to give you time to get ready for the big day. Don't forget we'll be closed on the 1st, but open again on the 2nd, when we return to normal opening hours. We value our local community and are always looking for the chance to help out where we can. This month, we're supporting the Local Arts Project and the Children's Theatre Group. When you pay for your shopping, you'll be given a ticket. To show your support, 
choose which of the organisations you would like to give this to by putting it in the box by the exit. We'll turn these into cash when they are counted up at the end of the month. Now listen again. Welcome to Milburn's. If you're looking for a sale or for something unusual, don't forget our Thursday special buy day where you'll find some great offers. These change every week and are removed from the shelves at the end of the day. This Thursday, you'll be able to buy a special gift for your pet with lots of items at low, low prices. Come early and don't miss our offers. Are you interested in a career with Milburns? We're looking for new staff in various areas of the business. There are now opportunities to join our trainee manager program and several jobs for cleaners. We are proud of our staff and like to think they're proud to be part of the Milburn family. Why not speak to our manager today if you're interested in joining us? Or pick up our magazine at the exit for details about how to apply. As the new year approaches, we know you need to get your shopping done ready for all the celebrations. We'll be opening until 10.30 on Friday evening to give you time to get ready for the big day. Don't forget we'll be closed on the 1st, but open again on the 2nd when we return to normal opening hours. We value our local community and are always looking for the chance to help out where we can. This month, we're supporting the local arts project and the children's theatre group. When you pay for your shopping, you'll be given a ticket. To show your support, choose which of the organisations you would like to give this to by putting it in the box by the exit. We'll turn these into cash when they are counted up at the end of the month. That is the end of part three. Now look at part four. For each question, choose the correct answer. Look at questions 20 to 25 now. You have 45 seconds. You will hear an interview with a woman called Florence Adams, who helps people with job interviews. Today, I'm speaking to Florence Adams about how to prepare for job interviews. Florence, how should we prepare for an interview? Start by researching the company. This will help you understand how you might fit with them. Do they have strong links with the local area? Do they have offices abroad? Are they serious about environmental issues? If these things matter to you, you'll have lots in common. I suppose we need to show we really want the job. Yes. It's important that you're clear why you want to work for the company. Going back to what I said earlier, perhaps your values are similar. Or maybe having researched the company, you can see they offer great career opportunities. What is it about the job that appeals to you? <laughs> and what about those difficult questions we get asked? <laughs> Think about your weak areas and how you might answer any challenging questions. Few of us are perfect, and you may not have much experience in a particular area. Ask if there are any training opportunities the company can offer. Is there anything you can do before the interview? If you tell them you're already intending to improve these things, it'll look great. 
And we need to ask the company questions as well, don't we? Certainly. Don't feel you need to wait to be asked. As well as helping you understand what you'll be responsible for in the job, some questions you ask can show employers more about what you're like. For example, questions about career opportunities will show you're serious about working for the company. Questions about training will show you want to develop your skills. Ah. And I suppose it's useful to practice before the interview. Oh, definitely. There are lots of sites on the internet where you can download example interview questions. Ask a friend or relative to download some questions and interview you. Don't ask to see the list first. This will give you the chance to try to answer questions without preparing for them. Anything else we should do? The first few minutes or even seconds of the interview are extremely important. Smile at the interviewer when you enter the room. Look confident when you walk in. Stand tall with your shoulders back. Wait until you're invited to sit down and then try to relax. Don't look at the floor or ceiling when you're answering a question, but at the person or people in front of you. Now listen again. Today, I'm speaking to Florence Adams about how to prepare for job interviews. Florence, how should we prepare for an interview? Start by researching the company. This will help you understand how you might fit with them. Do they have strong links with the local area? Do they have offices abroad? Are they serious about environmental issues? If these things matter to you, you'll have lots in common. I suppose we need to show we really want the job. Yes. It's important that you're clear why you want to work for the company. Going back to what I said earlier, perhaps your values are similar. Or maybe having researched the company, you can see they offer great career opportunities. What is it about the job that appeals to you? <laughs> And what about those difficult questions we get asked? <laughs> Think about your weak areas and how you might answer any challenging questions. Few of us are perfect, and you may not have much experience in a particular area. Ask if there are any training opportunities the company can offer. Is there anything you can do before the interview? If you tell them you're already intending to improve these things, it'll look great. And we need to ask the company questions as well, don't we? Certainly. Don't feel you need to wait to be asked. As well as helping you understand what you'll be responsible for in the job, some questions you ask can show employers more about what you're like. For example, questions about career opportunities will show you're serious about working for the company. Questions about training will show you want to develop skills. Ah. And I suppose it's useful to practice before the interview. Oh, definitely. There are lots of sites on the internet where you can download example interview questions. Ask a friend or relative to download some questions and interview you. Don't ask to see the list first. This will give you the chance to try to answer questions without preparing for them. Anything else we should do? The first few minutes or even seconds of the interview are extremely important. Smile at the interviewer when you enter the room. Look confident when you walk in. Stand tall with your shoulders back. Wait until you're invited to sit down and then try to relax. Don't look at the floor or ceiling when you're answering a question, but at the person or people in front of you. That is the end of part four. You now have six minutes to write your answers on the answer sheet. That is the end of the test.